I just have no shame in it. Like even even if stuff turns people off, makes them go, oh, I didn't know he did that. What the hell? Like I just don't care anymore. So um, yeah, I got songs about my ex girlfriend, about how fucked up everything was. I have songs to my child that I've never met. I have a song talking about how I go to Asian massage parlors and get happy endings. I have a song talking about how I was paying a fucking chick, paying her bills and everything just to fuck her whenever I wanted to. Like I just, and um, yeah, it's just no shame. <laughs> That situation that I'm talking about in the song, that is what made me make the album. This got blown out of proportion with the, with the police and everything to the point I got banned from Australia. I couldn't see my kid. I was like, okay, you wanna do this to me? Well, let me, let me just tell the whole story. You know, something that came out a year ago where it, it said that I was um, arrested and, I, and I, was, um, I, I was found guilty for domestic violence. And I think it's, you know, court systems around the world are very unfair because I could poke you right now and you could go tell the police and that, that can be considered domestic violence. It was very humiliating for me because I know that that's not what it was and I'm not that type of person and my mother did not raise that type of person and I am so against that type of behavior. The next day she called me and she was like, I didn't know that was going to happen, I'm so sorry. I tried to have them drop the charges. I'm like, how did you not know this is going to happen? It looks so like typical, like black man, white girl accusing him of assault. like. It's almost like they'll look at me and I'm dressed all like, like, yeah. And then they look at me up online and shit, just seeing the crazy music that I make. It looks so like, duh, he's a fucking abuser. Look at him. The same ex-girlfriend, this is crazy. Um, I, we had a, um, had a sex video that she had of me of, of, that I had sent that, you know, it was, it was on her phone. And we were going to break up. I wanted to break up with her respectfully. I was like, you know, I don't think this is working. And then she was kind of salty, but I was like, um, but since we're breaking up, can you please delete that video off your phone because I have a career and I, you know, I, 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 my career is very important. I don't want that video ever coming out. And she's like, no, if we're breaking up, there's no rules to this anymore. And I'm like, oh, you gonna delete that video? She ended up calling the police on me because I wouldn't let her leave the hotel room because she wouldn't delete the video. I hit her passport. I was like, since you got, since you got that video, you calling the police, I'm gonna hide your fucking passport. The police came, they're like, give us the passport. And I'm like, I pretended I didn't have it. I was like, hey, I don't know, but she has a sex video and, and, I'm, a, and I'm a famous rapper, guys, and she can ruin me with that video. Can you please tell her to delete it? I'm like, give us the damn passport. And I'm like, tell her to delete that video. And then she pulls out her phone. She's like, what video? This one? And plays it to the police. I, oh, nigga, I know you did not just play this goddamn video of me jacking off to the fucking police and she ended up leaving with the fucking video still on the phone police didn't give a fuck Uncovered Prodigy is the the new label that I have after my fallout with my past label Funk Volume and I just wanted to create something new refreshing and um yeah and I and I and I, I had to kind of take a step back from the music scene a little bit just to organize Undercover Prodigy and the names, it came from me just feeling like an Undercover Prodigy. It, it took a while for me to think about it because I was like, what do I feel like? And I was like, I always feel like I'm slept on, but I feel like I'm so talented. I feel like I, I, feel like I have all these abilities and gifts that people don't even realize. And I know there's a lot of artists out there who feel that same way where they're like walking amongst society knowing that they're extremely talented and gifted, but nobody knows. And I wanted to make a platform for artists to come on in the future where you know we can shine together and all help each other out hopefully a lot of them can learn from me and learn from my mistakes and all that and learn from the things that i capitalized on because it's important i like to shed that information on them because a lot of successful people like you see them and you don't know how they did it some people don't want to share that information because they're like i don't want you taking my spot me i'm not worried about anybody taking my spot not because i feel like i'm the best i just know that I, I do what I do and people are going to like me for the reason they like me and no one's going to take that away from me. It, it's funny because I, I just wanted to show everyone like, yo, this is, that's how easy it is. Like those songs are just made in five minutes when I do them. It's just, it's just for shits and giggles. Um, and I personally think those songs, they, they don't take much skill. I think it's all a production. It's all like, 90% production and 
lyrics. Some of those songs are extremely, extremely catchy, and, and you know, I'll give them credit for that for coming up with good melodies. You know, that that's that's the artist or whoever wrote that. But but yeah, let's let's just be real. It's, it's the, the what they're speaking about. The content is just bullshit. It's bullshit with dope beats, and that that's all it is. If you if you, if you had an acapella of that no one will be like, yo, those words that he's saying, and it's like, no one would say that. It's just, it's the beat. Yeah, it's funny, because if you play that song, if you play those songs in a club or anywhere, the no words, they're, no one's gonna question that it's a, they're, they will literally just subconsciously think that words are happening. <laughs> and they'll, they'll just keep the vibe going, and no one's gonna be like, wait, he's not saying it. They're just gonna be like, hey, 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 it's just, yeah. There's, there was no particular MC that I was like targeting, it, it's just, all together, when I hear the when I hear a lot of these t songs with that style, I just I'm like, man, I don't really know what he's saying. Don't know what they're, what they're talking about. It's just mumble crap. My my full name is Marcus Hobson, so I sometimes look in the mirror. I'm like, am I Marcus? Am I more Marcus in my life, or am I more Hobson? And then I get confused, and I know it sounds crazy, but I literally get confused. I'm like, am I? Hobson the rapper, or am I Marcus the real, the, the human being? And I'm like, my, my human being real life is so fucked up where I feel like all I am is a rapper. And I have this thing where it's like, if, if I'm gonna be, if I'm gonna, if, my, if I feel like a piece of shit, I'm gonna be the coolest piece of shit to ever exist in the face of the earth where I'm gonna have people singing my piece of shit songs and rocking out to my, at my shows and I'm gonna change lives with my piece of shit life and be the coolest piece of shit to ever walk the face of the earth. It's almost like if I told you, you're, you're ugly, stupid, you worthless motherfucker, you ain't gonna be shit. Then you make a song called, I'm ugly, I'm stupid, I'm a piece of shit. And then everyone's singing in the crowd and they're like, I'm ugly too, I'm a piece of shit. And you're like, hell yeah, like, yo, I'm fucking, I'm a, the dopest, ugly piece of shit to ever fucking walk the face of the earth. Like it just, it makes you, it, it satisfies you in a way. So um, that, that's just what it does. I'm probably just gonna go on tour um, and just, yeah, maybe try to collab with certain artists, you know, just do something different, you know, um, just try to pair up with artists that people wouldn't expect, I don't know, stuff like that. I'm at, I'm at the point right now, you know, everything's just very like, I'm, I'm so used to everything, so I don't really get overexcited, like, oh, I'm gonna do this next, this next. It's just, I'm just gonna keep grinding and, um, but the, my main concern in life is just to see my son. That's overall what I just want.